Shalom. I want to give all praises going honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushah, Bashem, Rakakadash, the bonds to apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Must respect to your brothers out there as preaching his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle of David is being built up. Shalom to Lex scatter abroad. And the speckled bird wants to say shalom. Uh, the other day, which I should have made this video yesterday, but um, what I believe what I saw <clears throat> as I was driving to the park yesterday, because it was a beautiful day, it felt good, and I was, uh, like I said, I was driving to the park, and I looked up in the sky, and I saw this cloud, you know, it, it, it was something a little odd about it, something a little different. You know, in in a way, when I was looking at it, it almost felt like, you know, something was staring at me as well, <laughs> if I can say. But anyways, you know, I felt like Zachariah, you know, like Zachariah 1 and 5, uh, five it's like yeah, Zachariah 5, you know, where you looked up, and it's a flying row. And, and that's what I believe what I saw, because I was looking at the cloud, and it was just something different about it. Alright, because the cloud was there, and, and, and you know, I, I watch clouds a lot, I look at them, but this one, I can tell, <clears throat> it was something different about it, when I looked up in the sky. Alright, it was like literally a, a, a movie, really, that's what it felt like when you uh watching like one of these alien movies, and the spaceship is up there in the sky, up there in the clouds and then it cloaks itself that's pretty much what happened that's what I believe what I saw you know like I said I was looking up to the sky and um yeah I mean it just literally cloaked itself like the cloud just looked so odd like different at first and then when I went to um try to record it like I said it, it cloaked itself and it was gone <laughs> So I, I took that as, you know, the Lord is showing his power. The Lord is showing that in these last days, he's uh he's coming back. All right, he's showing his signs, his wonders in the sky. And, you know, hey, he's watching. <laughs> he's here. All right, he got his angels here. And they watching and they're ready for that green light to be given from the Heavenly Father to come down and gather up their elect. So without further ado, I'm gonna get a little scriptures. I said I thought that was pretty cool, you know. Just a what it seemed like was a normal day to me, just driving to the park, and um, just a chariot in the sky. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get some uh, scriptures. Bear with me one quick. Let me get um, Zachariah. I said, I felt like Zachariah in that uh, uh, moment, just looking up in the sky. I was like, <laughs> what is that? But us that's in the truth, hey, we, we know what those are. We know these are the chariots of the Lord. And everybody else call them so-called UFOs. We know that these are the chariots of the Lord. <clears throat> All right, so this is Zachariah 5 and 1. Then I turned. And lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying robe. And he said unto me, What thou seest? And I answered, I see a flying robe. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof is ten cubits. Because this thing was huge in the sky as well. You know? It was huge. And like I said, when I went to go um try to record it, it was gone. Alright? Like clouds don't even move like that, so <laughs> hey, it was just going like that, just cloaked itself, blending in. All right. Verse three. Then he said unto me, "This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth, for every one that stilleth shall be cut off, as as on the side according to it. Every one that sweareth." shall be cut off on the other side according to it all right 
So this is the curse. Is this is a curse to you heathens? Because when the Lord coming back, He's coming back with great power, great anger, and wrath, vengeance. Hey, you best believe He He remembers being put on that cross. He remembers you two thirds choosing Barabbas over Him. So two thirds got to pay, and, and Esau Edom, his sins has reached upon to the heavens. So he got to pay, man. <laughs> All right. He got to pay. And everybody else is in such a bugged out mind state. They're thinking this uh, uh, coronavirus and everything is going to pass. Try to pray that it's going to pass. No, nah, man. We want things to heat up here. And I'm glad the Lord is showing his signs as wonders in the sky. All right. He's showing that his prophecies is popping up like popcorn. We in some beautiful times, man. All right. Verse 4, I will bring forth, say if you have a host, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. Who is that? Esau Edom. And into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. Hey, man. Doesn't Esau Edom swear falsely by Yahweh Hashem name? All right. Uh, uh, having his Christianity, having them swear upon the Bible. And going against what they say all right uh ushering in these unrighteous decrees <clears throat> so hey man he swear falsely by his name by this book and the lord is coming coming for you all right it shall remain in the midst of the house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones therefore all right so these chariots man these chariots ain't playing no games with you eat all eat them you know what's up that's why the devil knows that he has but a short time to rule this earth revelation uh 12 and 12 roughly paraphrasing all right so let's get um let's get some more scripture let's get uh psalms 104 and 3 who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters who maketh the clouds his chariots who walketh upon the wings of the wind? All right. Who maketh the clouds his chariots? Like I said, it, the chariot was just right there in the cloud, just chilling. And then, like I said, when I went to uh, try to uh, uh, record it, it just disappeared. All right. Disappeared it and looked just like a cloud. <laughs> All right. Who make the clouds his chariots? All right. Those are the angels of the Lord. You know, watch it. They watch it. All right. The eyes of the Lord is ten times brighter than the than the sun. All right. So, like I said, we living in some beautiful times, man. The Lord is showing His wonders, His signs, He's showing that what we have been saying out there on the highways and byways is, is pretty much coming to coming to life. So it's beautiful, man. Let's get um, Jeremiah. 413 behold he shall come up as a cloud and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind his horse horses are swifter than eagles woe unto us for we are spoiled <laughs> that's gonna be esau Edom, man in these last days man saying woe unto us we are spoiled you know in uh second Ezra 13 pretty much is it you know rough for paraphrasing but summarizing really that they was going to be so scared that they they pretty much uh, um, didn't even want to fight but the Lord Lord made it to where <clears throat> they was going to fight him anyways in that day <laughs> alright it's one realm against another the spiritual realm against the uh, uh, physical realm alright let me read that again Jeremiah 413 behold he shall come up as clouds and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. His horses, because I'm talking about the chariots, are swifter than eagles. All right? These things fly faster than eagles, man. All right? They can come from the spiritual realm into the physical realm. All right? Matter of fact, since it said, um, which the last part, let me read that again. 
Woe unto us, for we are spoiled. Well, let's get our Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord, Yahweh Shem outside, had made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the evil, for the day of evil. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, amen. No hand joining hand. The wicked is not going to go unpunished. All right. They're going to get it, man. All right. Our people join unto them. They're going to get it. The wicked is going to get it. It's already set. It's already set in the scriptures that, this, that these these things, these prophecies is going to happen. Whether you believe it or not. Alright. Give me one second. Uh, phone acting up. Bear with me. Bear with me. <clears throat> so let me get this like here. I'm trying to get my notes on. All right. Let's also get um, Syrac or Ecclesiasticus. All right. Syrac 23 and 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shemasha, are 10 times brighter than the sun. All right. The Lord sees everything, man. The Lord is sending out his chariots, his angels. They seeing everything, man. <laughs> like they say in the world, they they his they his uh, uh, snitches, man. <laughs> they they seeing what you doing out here on earth. You thinking that you hiding your sin? No, nah, man. The Lord sees everything, man. The Lord got his angels uh, watching everything, watching all the perimeters. All right. That's why we supposed to be walking. In the ways he how about you, my being wise, especially in these last days, man. All right. So his eyes are ten times brighter than the sun, and that's his chariots, man. They up there in the clouds. It said it makes his clouds, his uh, uh, clouds, the chariots. All right. They up there. They watching. They see what you doing. <laughs> all right. Beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Verse 20, he know all things, er, every, they were created. So also, after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. So the Lord sees everything, man. How you gonna try to hide from the creator that created you? You can't, man. All right, you, you just a chess piece in this game. You just a, a playing your role in his movie, all right? <laughs> Like I said, the Lord sees everything, man. And if you think you can get away from the Lord, hey, <laughs> you're not, man. All right, you're not. All right, let's get uh, Psalms. Let's get um, 34. And let's see what else I want to get. Six. Psalms 34 and 6, the poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of his troubles. The angel of the Lord, verse 7, the angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and delivered them. So these chariots, man, in these last days is going to deliver the elect. And this is what we're looking forward to, man. This is what we're looking forward to in these last days for these chariots to beam up the elect, the strangeness of our salvation. All right, that's wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. The strange sense of our salvation. Hey, man, that's what we're waiting for. All right, you cry upon the Lord and he saves you out of your troubles. <laughs> hey, man, that's what we're looking for. All right, that's what we're looking for. That's why we got to endure to the end and do the will of the Heavenly Father. All right, let's get... um. Let's get Revelation 1 and 7. Well, let me get uh, Jude. Let me get Jude first. All right. Jude 1 and 14. All right. This is Jude 1 and 14. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these things. You see, prophet. All right. I'm going to get this again. This is Jude 1. 14 and Enoch also the seventh from Adam prophesied of these things saying behold 
the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, cometh with tens and thousands of his saints. So, hey, man, <laughs> when the Lord cracks that sky, the spiritual realm against the physical realm, it's going to be um, tens of thousands of his saints, which is the angels flying through, zapping people, destroying everybody but the elect and putting all the other heathens into captivity. <laughs> all right. So it's going to be crazy, man. It's going to be crazy out here. That's why we're praying that we of the elect so we won't have to be on the wrong side of judgment. Let's just say that. Verse 15, to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they ungodly committed. <laughs> so that's two thirds. Esau, Edom, and these other heathens, man. They're going to get it in these last days, man. And of their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against them. All right. So they, they coming back bring down judgment man all right so let's get um now let's get revelation one and seven make sure there's anything out of here yeah all right so this is revelation one and seven i think i'm gonna close out on this all right Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. They also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so, all men. Why they gonna wail? Because he coming back with great anger, fierce, and power, putting the heathens into captivity, putting the two thirds to death. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a sight, man. Alright, it's gonna be a sight. Matter of fact, I did say it's going to be the last one. Let me get a uh, revelation. So like, yeah, let me get. Uh, was going to get a uh, revelation 19, but um, I haven't brought this out. So I'm going to just get a uh, Psalms 83, 13. Oh, my power. Because when you go to Psalms 83, pretty much at the top, we understand that the nations came together, the heathens came together to blot out uh, Israel out of existence, to put us into slavery. So because of this, this is what Yahweh Shema Shah is coming down to do. All right. He's sending his son, Yahweh Shah, to bring down vengeance as we read. So this is Psalms 83, 13. O my power, make them like a will, as a stubble before the wind, as a fire burneth a wood, as a flame settle in the mountains of fire. So persecute them with the tempest and make them afraid with thy storms. <laughs> All right. Fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name, O Lord. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish. Whew. I mean, just reading that, you, you can just picture the Lord coming back with, with, with great anger, man. All right. You heathens got a lot to pay. All right. That a man may know that thou, whose name alone is Yahweh, art the most high over all the earth. Hey, so that's all praises, man. All praises, man. So, yeah, I'm pretty much going to close out on that. So I want to give all praises going honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, the bonds to apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Much respect to your brothers out there. It's peace and word and truth and sincerity. Hey, we living in those times, man. The Lord is showing his, his wonders and signs. All right. Stay prayed up. Shalom.